Trevor Bogue, my partner Shannon Trent, is not here today, so I'm going to be presenting alone. Okay. Uh, our company is Vineyard Academy Socks. We are asking $200 for 20% equity in our company. To make the socks, it takes three materials, black thread, grape cluster patches, and white pairs of socks. It costs $250 to get all the materials to make 78 pairs of socks, and uh, we can sell the 78 pairs of socks for $15.99 a pair, and that will make us a profit of a thousand dollars. Amazing. Okay. So. Have you sold any yet? No. We haven't produced any yet. And what are you going to use the money for? Uh, to buy the materials for the socks. Okay. Are there any particular designs, or is this something that? Um, we have a prototype, but the prototype is with my partner, and he's okay. not here today. Okay. 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 How do you plan to sell these? To uh, market it? Through the school, uh, I'm not sure. We haven't really worked out anything, but. Have you asked at the school store if they would take this product? Not yet. Okay. But that's where I was like aiming to okay. sell them. How did you come up with the concept? Uh, me and my partner just were thinking of a pro er, project design and just thought of Vineyard Academy socks. Kind of basing them off like the Nike Elite socks that are very popular for kids. So you said uh, you would use the money to buy the uh, component parts to make yeah. the sock, Correct. including black thread. Correct. So you would have one color? Uh, basically. Okay. Just for the logo, or like writing vineyard. So white socks with a black, uh, black thread emblem. Yeah, or vineyard, and then a grape uh, cluster patch. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I'll say is I, I love the idea. I, socks are hot. I mean, you go into uh, any store and you see, uh, you know, not the, you know, ten for you know, in a pack for a couple of dollars. I'm talking about, like I said, the Nike Elite. That's what yeah. you're going for. Uh, I love your, your margins. I think uh, if you somehow if you had a part time job or you saved some money, uh, you could do it on your own for two fifty. Yeah. So for two fifty, I don't think you need an investment from from us. Mm -hmm. I think you could do. You could save up that money. You could. You could. Even if you could only do half of it, and you can make five hundred dollars, or you know, you do a full, and you can make a thousand. Um, you know, that's that's amazing. Uh, I don't necessarily think that I have anything to add on the sewing or the dynamic of it all. I think you, you have a pretty great yeah. idea of what it is. Um, I think you might be having a challenge on the price, but even if you take it down a couple of dollars, you still make a, a nice nice margin. So I think it's a great idea. I think it's something that you could do on your own. You don't need. Uh, an investment from outside, but I, I'd love to see you do it, and I'd love to also see you say, "Hey, yeah, this is what it looks like right here." And you pull up your sock and you say, "This is what it looks." So that way, we can all see and say, "Oh, yeah, that's awesome." We, you know, we, we'll buy one for you know for our kids or for ourselves. So um, it's a great idea, but um, I'm going to uh, step out. Thank you. And um, I would have to agree with David that um, you know having a prototype or a sketch or something for an investor to see is really very important. Um, but you, based on what you're sharing, you really I don't think you need investors as much as you need um, maybe a loan. Mm -hmm. And getting a small um, short-term loan for you to capitalize your resources and then make a few and do what is called a proof of concept and do a few sales and alter your concept and then do a few more sales and then alter the concept and then you've got something to actually go to investors with. Um, so I think it's premature for me to, to get involved, so I'm out. Thank you. I will echo that as well, but I think you're onto something here. Thank you. I really like your concept. Um, I'm going to make you an offer. Okay. So I will give you the $200, but I think as Matt said, more as a loan. I don't think you need to give away equity in your company right now. So I would want um, $3 per pair of socks that you sell um, until I get my money back. And then going forward, I'd want one dollar for every pair of socks you sold. Until you get which investment back? How much? Um, that was three dollars. Okay. And then one dollar going forward after I get my investment back. Okay, after two hundred. Okay. Royalty rate. All right. Uh, me and my partner accept the offer. Great. Awesome. Okay. Look okay. okay. forward to working good. with you. <laughs> Thanks. Good job. Good job. Very good job. It's tough to do it by yourself, but that's yeah. Nice, yeah. He did.
That's that was our job. So I, I was waiting for you to say to double your mind to like no. you know, three dollars to double, but that's that's no, pretty good. I wouldn't be greedy. Well, I mean, a greed set in when you wanted a dollar into perpetuity. I know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I don't be greedy. It'd be smart. Forever. It'd be smart. You just close the business. Yeah, no, <laughs> just close the business already. <laughs> but you know what? Though I think the yeah. idea of a sample. Like yeah. Oh, I know. Sketch, I even know. if you don't want to. Exactly. You know, do it. it sounds like his partner had something. Yeah. It sounds. That's why I felt bad. Yeah.